Then on Sports Central, we go over a college football game preview and prediction on a big matchup coming up here in the SEC in week 11 of this 2022 college football season. And it's going to be over Georgia and Mississippi State. Huge matchup for both these teams coming up here in week 11. You got Georgia, who is 9-0 on the season. This team is undefeated, coming off of their huge win over Tennessee. And this team is the undisputed top team in the country right now as they take on Mississippi State, who is 6-3 on the season. But Mississippi State, despite being unranked and a three-loss team right now, they are definitely not a pushover. So it should be an interesting matchup coming up here in Week 11. We'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this match preview today, starting with your team trends. Georgia beat Tennessee 27-13. In Week 10, just a massive win for Georgia and Tennessee. There's a reason why the Vols were the top-ranked team in the country going into that matchup. I mean, that's a team that was averaging 50 points a game. And, I mean, Georgia only allowed 13 points to Tennessee in that matchup. And, you know, so Georgia, a dominant performance. And, I mean, that just places Georgia as potentially the favorite to win another national title this season. At this current stage in the season, that's just how it looks with Georgia playing the way they did against Tennessee. And, I mean, the Bulldogs, they just look like they have the highest ceiling out of anyone in the country right now. And Mississippi State on the other side, they beat Auburn 39-33. to Game went into overtime, but the Bulldogs got the win in the end. And they're 6-3 and three on the season, so a three-loss team here. But I do think Mississippi State is a team that you know, potentially better than their record shows. I mean, this team heading into that Kentucky game on the road, I mean, they're only a one-loss team. And this team really looked like they are on the rise, especially after a dominant win over Arkansas. But... Then they lost to Kentucky by 10. Then they lost to Alabama. Got dominated by the Crimson Tide on the road. So uh, Mississippi State has since taken a couple of losses, but I still think this team is uh, definitely a talented one. Games beyond Saturday, November 12th in Starkville, Mississippi. So uh, Mississippi State is the home team for this matchup. And your kickoff is 7 p.m. Eastern. Spreads going Georgia by 16 and a half. So the Bulldogs of Georgia are favored by about two touchdowns and a field goal for this one, which isn't too surprising. You got Georgia coming off of the win that they had last week. And, I mean, they're, they're the top team in the country. It makes sense. Over-under is 53.5, and the FBI is going Georgia as well, 84.2%. Series history, Georgia leads at 19-6. Georgia's won the past three over Mississippi State, and they've also won four out of the past five. So, Georgia, I mean, this isn't really a matchup that we see too often in the SEC. Obviously, both teams are in different divisions, and uh, we don't really see these two teams play each other all that often. But, uh, when we have in recent history, at least Georgia's had plenty of success. Stack comparison for this one, Georgia's sixth in points per game this season, third in points allowed there, eighth in passers game, 19th in rush yards, and then for yards allowed there, 19th in passing, sixth in rushing. So this team is in the top 20 in every category. I mean, this is an outstanding team on both sides of the ball. You got Stetson Bennett, who has thrown for 2,600 yards this season, 11 touchdowns over three picks. Pretty great season for him so far. Brock Bowers, the tight end for this team is the top in receiving with 500 yards. And this team is a decent rushing team. But, I mean, they're they're kind of balanced in both areas. I mean, they're averaging nearly 200 uh, rushing yards a game and 320 for passing. Uh, but kind of the opposite for Mississippi State. Mississippi State is a very heavy pass offense. This team averages 325 pass yards a game. But on the other side, uh, they only rush for 80 yards a game pretty much. So they're 126th in rush yards a game, which is basically – sixth to last in the FBS um, and for passage the game at seventh you know, this team is right up there with the top of the country obviously you got Will Rogers who has passed for nearly 3,000 yards this season already 26 touchdowns and only five picks with that so Will Rogers is uh, definitely an outstanding quarterback and I think a guy that doesn't get quite enough credit but defensively this team isn't terrible they're allowing 24 points a game they're 37th in pass yards allowing them 70 the rush yards but in comparison to georgia's defense who's only allowing 11 points a game uh you obviously got two teams that i mean georgia is obviously the more skilled team here and they're simply the better team statistically recent matchups georgia beat tennessee 27 to 13 beat florida 42 to 20 they beat vanderbilt 55 nothing beat auburn 42 to 10 and beat missouri 26 to 22 kind of been an interesting season for georgia this team hasn't been quite as dominant as they were as you could say last season in 2021 when they eventually won a national title. I mean, in particular, you look at the Kent State game way back when, the Missouri game where they were on upset alert for a long time. This team almost lost to Missouri there. I mean, back in early October. And this, uh, the record would be much different. Georgia probably wouldn't be ranked quite as high if that were the case. But, I mean, I mean, nonetheless, ever since then, I mean, this team has been dominant. They beat Auburn 
uh, once again, 42 to 10. And then Vanderbilt beat them big, shut them out, beat Florida, and then just beat Tennessee 27 to 13. So I'm not concerned. I mean, I'm not concerned one bit about Georgia. I mean, maybe at the time in early October, there were a few question marks as to whether or not Georgia was the team that we thought that they were going to be. But at this point in the season, after they just beat Tennessee, the top ranked team in the country, and you also consider back in week one, this team beat Oregon, who turns out to be an excellent football team. I'm not concerned one bit about Georgia at this point in the season. And as for Mississippi State, they beat Auburn 39 to 33 in overtime, lost Alabama 6 to 30. They lost to Kentucky 17 to 27, beat Arkansas 40 to 17, and also beat Texas A&M 42 to 24. So Mississippi State has shown potential points this season as well. Their ceiling is also fairly high, you could say, but you know, they've just been a little bit inconsistent. Key points for this one, Georgia 9-0 coming off of a dominant win over Tennessee. That's obviously a massive win for this team at this point in the season. And that was only the second ranked team that Georgia's played to this point. The other team that they had played um, that was ranked was Oregon, who was ranked 11th at the time. They beat them 49-3, to which at the time, I mean, that was just, it, looked, it made Oregon look just terrible. But turns out Oregon hasn't lost a game since, and they currently look like the best team in the Pac-12. So, I mean, Georgia's got a strong resume with those Tennessee and Oregon wins looking back. And, I mean, maybe they've had a couple of, uh, disappointing performances, but they've still won their games, which is what really matters. So yeah, this team looks to be in a class of their very own. The ceiling is the highest um, for Georgia out of any college football team this season. I feel like Georgia has got the highest ceiling in defense, but they're just a brutal team. Once again, averaging right around 11 points allowed per game. And as for Mississippi State, this team is at a roller coaster of a season. They obviously had a huge rise in October, but then they fell just as quickly when they lost two straight games to Kentucky and then to Alabama. Uh, but Will Rogers obviously has passed for nearly 3,000 yards. I mean, this is a really good quarterback in Will Rogers who knows to uh, knows how to pick apart defenses. And you know, going up against Georgia, he's really going to need to have a solid game here. And so, yeah, this is an uphill battle for Mississippi State. I definitely think, I mean, Georgia is obviously going to be the favorite heading into this matchup. But for Mississippi State, I mean, this team has got a chance to put up a fight here and at least maybe keep it close. And, I mean, who knows? They maybe could still a major upset in the end. I mean, we've seen crazier things in college football. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a, it's something like none other. A, a team knocks off a huge opponent, a really good team, and then the next week they uh, have a sluggish performance. Not saying that's gonna happen in Georgia, but we have seen that happen in the past, uh, where a team has a slow performance the next week, especially after a monumental win. But I mean, this is a huge opportunity for Mississippi State going up against the top ranked team in the country here but that sells get the prediction here for georgia and mississippi state coming up here in week 11 and no surprise here i'm going georgia but it's just a matter of how close and i think georgia ends up winning this game by a couple of touchdowns i'm going to say 31 to 17. i don't know that georgia is going to put up too many points in this one i think mississippi state uh, being at home they generally play pretty well at home um i think we see mississippi state keep this game close for a little while maybe in the first half but in the second half I think Georgia pulls away. They score a couple of touchdowns, maybe get a nice turnover off of Mississippi State, and uh, they end up winning this game by a couple of touchdowns here, 31-17. to 17. So I'll say Georgia's 60%. I honestly could bump that up to 65 or 70. You know, I'm, I'm very confident Georgia wins this game. Honestly, it'd be a stunner if Mississippi State were to pull it off. But I do think Mississippi State has got a chance to put up a fight, maybe keep this one close, and I think that they somewhat do. In fact, I do have Mississippi State covering the spread, which is currently 16 and a half towards Georgia. And I'm also taking the under 53 and a half. With that said, that's going to wrap it up for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this matchup. And I appreciate you guys watching as always. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. Catch you on the next one.